This is Quentin Tarantino at his best, and I don't know that he's ever done anything like this before. You can't ask for a better approach to creating a movie. Yeah! There's like eight people that are very different, very dangerous, and to varying degrees, hateful. General Smithers wishes me to inform you. I heard him here, Billy. Inform this old cracker that I was in Baton Rouge also. When you think of Quentin Tarantino, the first actor that I think of is Samuel L. Jackson. Who the hell are you? Name's Major Marcus Warren, former U.S. Cavalry, currently a servant of the court. I really looked forward to working with Sam because he's a bold actor. He's inventive and creative. He just gives you the opportunity to feel that he's right there with you and for you, and you should be there for him. They call him the hangman. When the handbill says dead or alive, the rest of us just shoot you in the back and up on top of perch somewhere and bring you in dead over a saddle. But when John Roof, the hangman, catches you, you hang. Did Quentin trust me with his words? He trusts me to you know, find a character on the inside of his stories that moved the story along, number one, that enriched the story, and hopefully keeps an audience engaged. Why'd they have a reward on you? Kurt he has a great sense of authenticity in everything that he does. There's essentially a real cowboy that lives inside Kurt. She ain't never gonna leave my goddamn side till I personally put her in a Red Rock jail. Now, do you got that? Yeah, I got it. Good. I've been chained to Jennifer Jason Lee for three months now. No, 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 no! Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah, I think it's been one of my great pleasures and to watch her blossom within this character that she's taking full advantage of. Me and one of them fellows is in cahoots. We're just waiting for everybody to go to sleep. That's what we're gonna kill you. She's pretty fearless. and She's a gutsy girl and a little bit of an animal in a certain way. In a group of men, she stands out not just because she's female, but because she is unique in that hatefulness that all the other seven of us have. So what's going on? Uh, Y'all having a bounty hunter's picnic? I watch Walt's show, Justified. I've seen him in different guises and doing different things and always been impressed with the way he approaches his work and the, the honesty of it and the rawness of it. You coming into Red Rock to hang Lance Lawson? Precisely. Do you have the execution on his own? In my bag. May I see him? Of course. When you're doing a Quentin Tarantino movie, both Michael Madsen and Tim are two guys that I think are iconic in that world. You're writing your life story. You bet I am. Am I in it? You just entered. Bruce is awesome. Aside from being, you know, as he has always been, tremendously um, interesting to watch because he'll go in any direction at any time. You, sir, are a hyena. I can't get over the fact that I did a really dramatic scene with Bruce Dern. It's awesome. Bob the Mexican's a little bit like, you're not quite sure what he just said because he didn't want you to be quite sure of what he said. How about we forget about the hats today, considering there is a blizzard going on and on. We'll make tomorrow another day! Now we're talking!